Play action. Kaepernick is in trouble. Carter's got it. And a sack for the Dallas defense. Wincing after that hit. Who would? Back surgery or not? Romo looking for somewhere to go. He's going to go down the middle. And it's Harris down near the 10. Well, you see Dwayne Harris, he's on the deep post. This is another throw that's late, and typically bad things happen. Cox is in a position, but he just is unable to make a play on the ball. Harris is able to, and so a big completion for Dallas, putting him down here in a position now to come away with points. It's like slow motion happening, 56 yards. What, how he's going to feel next week coming off of this game. Here's Bryant. He all Almost got away from come back. That's going to be the real test as to where he's at. They're at Tennessee next week. Touchdown, Williams. <laughs> Romo pulls the trigger. He's got Bryant and a juggling catch inside Tennessee territory. That's good news for Dallas. First down at their own 20. Murray gets it right back. And DeMarco, a ton of room. And out across the 40. Third down and three, four men on the rush. Locker can't find anywhere to go, and he's picked off by Church. From a near interception from Locker to an interception. And it's the first takeaway for this Cowboy defense this season. Square in, here he is here, and it's the throw that just got away from him. You know, anytime you're throwing the ball over the middle, when you got a middle safety like that, you got to keep the ball down. This one sails on him. It's again at the 40. Handoff is to Murray. Gets the edge. Murray off to a great start. A cluster waits for him. Not very pretty, but effective as it's kept out of the end zone by Harris. And they're going to mark the ball down at the two. Dwayne Harris, an outstanding special teams player, got down there and kept it out of the end zone with this. And he did. The drive will start for the Titans at the two. As they second down and ten. Locker steps up, down he goes. In the arms of linebacker Kyle Wilbur. Blue 80. They got up off the deck after a bad first half. This is tipped in. McLean's got it. They're letting this play go, and now one of the officials comes in and says incomplete with Walt Coleman, the referee. And almost came up with a pick. And let's see if he cradles it against his body. He's got it so far. That's a pick. Yeah, it looked like an interception to me as well, Joe. I thought it was. From the 49 on first down, it is Murray. And he picks up another first down and more, spinning down to the Rams, 31. So third down and one. Watts shifting in the backfield. Bravo with the snap. And the Cowboys have recovered. Williams in motion. New set of downs for the Cowboys. Play action. Romo fires downfield wide open and taking it into the end zone is Des Bryant. 68 yards. Off this run and it's play action. Two guys down the field, maximum protection, and Rodney McLeod bites on a crossing route and turns Des Bryant loose behind him. That's what time will do with you right there. Des Bryant not happy in the first half with what he was doing, but... Just keep fighting, fighting, fighting. Comes up with a huge play right there. Down. Marky shifts. The handoff to Stacy. And he is piled up. Anthony Hitchens, the rookie out of Iowa. Coming. Bryant in motion. It's a toss to Murray. And Murray stays at his feet. First down and more. Down the sideline. Finally tripped up. Inside the Rams 30. Well, now you know why they wanted Des Bryant in the motion right there. It looks like the same exact play, Daryl. They draw all the defenders over to the right. 
Little toss on the backside, a little misdirection. Works out for Murray. Yeah, it was nice. You're going to see that motion come through right here. It's going to impact the defense, and then you get the quick flip go in the opposite direction. And I tell you what, DeMarco Murray is sneaky fast. Alec Ogletree looked like he was going to be able to close that gap. Now the Rams defense is set. Third down and 13. Romo. Out across the 25. Picks up a first down. Romo on third down. Over the top. Touchdown. Terrence Williams. Everybody to defend as everybody's clearing out this way. Look at all the traffic EJ Gaines was going to have to run through, and he just can't get there in time. Second. They start from the 21 yard line. Davis on first down. It's picked off by Bruce Carter. And Carter takes it in for a Cowboys touchdown. Bruce Carter here on the right. Now watch as the pressure comes in. And he's just going to kind of float it right in the middle of the field. Does not see Bruce Carter sliding in from his pre-snap position. They have used all of their timeouts. Davis on first down. He fires downfield. And it is picked off by Morris Claiborne. The guys get behind him a couple times. He's not going to let that happen on this one. Eyes on the quarterback. In the perfect position to make over to Sean Payton. Third and two. Romo with that pump fake. Scrambles, tries to get out as he does so often. We've seen this a million times. Flag is down for the moment the catch is made. But you saw the flag at the 40 yard line where Witten made the catch. And the Cowboys are moving downfield. Everybody indicating it's going to be on the defense. First of all, an incredible play by Tony Romo. But it was almost hilarious watching Jason Witten, who got knocked down, down the field, turned around, pointed to the official. The official threw the flag. Witten got up and made the play. The pass. Illegal contact. Defense number 31. Penalty is declined. The result of the play is a first down. That's Gene's With the game territory. clock operator, please reset the game clock to 12 minutes and 20 seconds. So there's the knockdown. Witten begs for the flag, gets it, gets up, starts scrambling around. But this is really the story. Tony Romo in week one could not have done this. He did not look like this. Now he's back to moving around. Former Steeler, but he's from New Orleans and wanted to go home, signed as a free agent. And here goes Murray through the middle with a big hole to set up a this drive going into his eighth minute. There's the delayed handoff, and then Romo throws, and it is caught in the end zone by Terrence Williams for the touchdown. Throwing it brilliantly, nine of nine is Romo. Now he hands the ball off to Murray, and another big game here. First down to the Saints' 41-yard line goes to Marco Murray. Which is a frightening thought. Second down and two, and that's tipped, and it's intercepted at the 39-yard line. Justin Durant comes up with the interception and here he goes one more time nice read usually Drew Brees can look off these linebackers at that time Carter able to get a piece of it and Dallas starts at the 39 yard line fake the end around and then dump it off underneath the Lance Dunbar for a big game down the sideline stays inbounds and takes it inside the 10 yard line so they spot it there after a 24 yard game they run the delay, and there goes Murray in for the touchdown. Let's tell you something. Jason Witten is one of the great players in the game. Watch this block. Not only does he make it against Junior Gallette, but he gets him turned. He gets on the good side of him. Number one picks. And moving right through the middle of that line and getting a lot more. There's Murray, and Murray almost broke it all the way. Gets up over there against Corey White. Romo looking the other way, and it's caught for the touchdown by Terrence Williams. Play clock at one on a third down and five. Romo is going to step up. He's going to run for the first down. Tony Romo slides to a stop. 
at the 28 yard line. Just watch Romo with the longest run of his career 21 yards. He's gone for 17 on a couple of other occasions. 21 yards for Tony. And there goes Murray inside the 10, juking and faking and scoring. Get him turned to the outside, turn him inside. He's untouched. I mean, he's untouched. That's a nice run. Let's give Murray credit. He's been sensational tonight. Looking at this is our best player. They gave him a big contract and it's paid off. Second and seven. Catch made over the middle and losing the ball. Grand. It's picked up by J.J. Wilcox. And he loses it. And then he loses it. And who's got it at the bottom of the pile of the 23-yard line? With Graham's career, all big D, 31 to 3. Coverage, nobody back there. Swing to the outside, and another big game. Randall flagged down. And now, there it is. it's a fake. Morstead's going to keep it. He's going to look downfield. He's going to get under pressure, and he's going to be tackled at the 39 yard line. From the 18. Heavy blitz, pass caught inside the five and taking it into the end zone. Des Bryant for the touchdown. Have secured it. The exact same play that Terrence Williams scored on earlier. A little back shoulder throw. No choice there. But the try. 3 3 33. And he's going to get sacked here. He gets rolled down by Henry Melton. P PS 139 on the grid. Hamilton high grad oh, into oh, oh, oh. cadet and losing the, the ball and they're gonna whistle it dead down by contact, down by contact, with the down by contact pack, third down New Orleans booth here says hey wait a second we got to look at this again is the knee down balls coming out looks like it is and Steratore will go over and check it out on the monitor Patrick out route intercepted picked off by Skandrick out of bounds along the sideline 15 for Dallas now the rush Romo he's got Witten rainbow delivery to Witten over the head of Elbert Mack he drops it in the bucket for 34 yards well Romo saw that Mack had his back to him so that means for Romo, there's no coverage there as long. And there's a bond that's bigger than football, according to Witten. It's a brotherhood. Well, rookies today, they ride in the same limo. Different salary structure. Romo, spin, throw, end zone, caught. Terrence Williams, touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Romo. Watch J.J. Watt. He's got a clear shot on Romo. Yeah, I wonder about that left arm, though. It didn't have the strength to wrap up Romo. And how about Romo sticking with the play? Williams hangs with the ball. The defensive back falls down. Kendrick Lewis. And Williams makes up for earlier drops with a huge play. Shane Leckley the punt. Harris back that one. That one nearly hit the big screen. Harris to the outside. Witten, the motion man. Running play, Murray. DeMarco Murray. Cutting it to the outside. Murray is hit inside the 15. It's a 17 yard gain. Fred. Romo to throw. Got his man. Back shoulder throw to Bryant for the Cowboys touchdown. Dallas trying to get it done with a last second finish. Romo avoids the pressure. Throws, and there's room for Murray. In the punter will hold it. For the win, Dan Bailey from 53 yards, and it is offline. Overtime. Working from the gun, Fitzpatrick. Looks, throws, sideline, incomplete. Dallas defense holds up. Extra offensive lineman here for Dallas. Jeremy Parnell. Oh, he picked the right hole. Murray 
so tough to bring down. You can't arm tackle him. Romo. Floats one up in the air. Juggle. Des Bryant. Oh, spectacular grab by Bryant. One on one. Bryant wins the matchup. Well, he caught it twice. The ball is going to go off his hands there. And as he's falling, he reaches over the top of Joseph Helmick to pull it in. What concentration. Joseph played it perfectly. He split the hands of Bryant, but couldn't keep Bryant from grabbing the ball right off the top of his hat. And, Dan, they are now in field goal range after that long completion to the Pro Bowler. For the win. Redemption for Bailey. Yes! He knocks it through. The Cowboys win in overtime. 20 to 17 over the Texans. Bragging rights. Four man rush. Into the end zone and Barry Church bats it away. They had an eye on Doug Baldwin. And what a play that was by Church on what could have been a touchdown. A pretty tight fit in there, too, that Russell Wilson's trying to get this ball in, and he has the perfect throw, but Barry Church drives on the ball, makes a good play, and keeps it from being completed. That's an outstanding job finishing the play. Well, now they have Joseph Randall in the backfield, and he has a big carry across the 40. All the way down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line, Randall. Travis Frederick does an outstanding job of clearing out the hole, and then Joseph Randall hits it. It's his first carry of the game, and he gets about three or four opportunities during the course of the ball game. Time. Wide open is Jason Witten, and it is first and goal for the Cowboys in the Seahawks' five-yard line. Third and goal. And that is a touchdown, and this time they find Escobar in the back of the end zone. Block punt, the big run by Joseph Randall. Excellent job here, and they turn Gavin Escobar loose on the back line. That he missed a couple of calls and big ones in that game. Wilson in trouble again. Boy, in the Dallas defense. A pass attempt to Des Bryant, and now Dan Bailey. He is Mr. Automatic. And with that successful field goal try, he has just become the most accurate kicker in the history of the NFL. More importantly, we're tied at 10. Wide open across the middle. And turning it into big yardage is Lance Dunbar up to the... Lay it off to Dunbar out of the backfield. He got a block. And unbelievably, on a third down and 14, the Cowboys pick up the first down. But amazingly, it's still a tie game. Bryant beats Sherman. And Sherman somehow able to trip him up in a... And they find Witten for a touchdown, his first this season. And the first time today, the Cowboys have the lead. He had fired legendary Tom Landry. The team had started the year 0-5. Here's first down, looking for Terrence Williams. And he's got it all the way to the 35-yard line. And he... After the catch, lay a game, number 83 of the offense. Five-yard penalty. First and ten. This is going to be a long field goal try, but if there's a guy that has a leg to do it, it is Dan Bailey. Well, they're setting Seattle up with great field position. If he misses, one of the reasons they're going for it is their defense been so good. Well, look at this guy. He is something. He is something. Fifth. What a catch. Great coverage by Sherman. And Des Bryant goes up to get it, and that's a first down. Yeah, Romo knows that these are the types of balls that Des Bryant wants to be able to make a play on. So tight coverage by Richard Sherman.
but give him one up high to where he can go up and make a play when Sherman's not prepared to make a play on the ball. That's a great job. We're under five minutes to go. Romo still on his feet. Lost it for Witten. Williams comes in behind him, and that is a catch. What a risk. Well, let's first look at the end of that, see if he's able to get his feet in. He does. Only 18 rushing yards in his second half, but a big one by Murray. Inside the 20 and down to the 20-yard line for DeMarco Murray. That's a good job by that right side of the offensive line. And you see the hole that's there. Tyler Klutz is leading the way at fullback. And shoot, he's four yards downfield before he even has to make contact with anybody. And then DeMarco Murray finishes it off. It looked like Murray nearly lost that football. Second down, back to Murray. Cuts it to the inside. And Murray to the end zone. Touchdown. Dallas run right behind him and he does a great job you see him stand up the outside defender and then Zach Martin right guard opens up a lane for DeMarco Murray that's pretty nice that's great execution right there by that offensive line and it just illustrates what they point after now to make it 27 to 23 and for that carry DeMarco Murray is continuing his assault on the NFL record books he has joined Jim Brown as the only two back to the history of the league to start a season with six consecutive 100-yard rushing games. And who would have thought that today? You watch the job that those two guys do right there on this play. Travis Frederick has a tough block. He's got to reach his guy. He pushes him out of the way. DeMarco Murray finds the hole. This is to keep their drive and hopes alive. Four-man rush. Wilson throws, and they turn it over on downs. Brown wanted a flag that doesn't come. Been playing man throughout this game. Wilson looking down the field, and it is intercepted by Rolando McLean. But McLean knew what was coming. Russell just trying to get the ball down the field, and he comes up with another big play, and he's been making plays throughout this season. Beginning position that the Giants and Matthias Kiwanuka hope to take advantage of. Murray into the secondary. Breaking tackles, still on his feet to the 42. Third down, Romo steps up. And that's Escobar. A first down to the Giants, 15. Wide open is Escobar for the touchdown. Doug Free at right tackle. They're going to give some help to that side with DeMarco Murray. And then you've got Gavin Escobar going down the field, and the safety just doesn't play him. Just a buck. And it's short. Behind only Tony Gonzalez. DeMarco Murray. Take it to Randall. Romo spins out of trouble, looking around. And that is a touchdown for Terrence Williams. Unbelievable protection by the Cowboys' offensive line. Well, the Cowboys go vertical routes on the outside, and they try to work it opposite of Terrence Williams. But because, as you said, Tom, just no pressure on Tony Romo, allowing him to buy some time and escape the pocket, he's able to then find Terrence Williams. Great protection. And Bryant wide open. And still on his feet. Thrown down at the Giants' 45-yard line. See him, he's on the inside. They stack him with Cole Beasley, and he just runs an outstanding route and completely turns around Chandler Fenner. That's for the Seahawks. Put Sherman on him the rest of the game. Down the middle of the field. And it is a touchdown. A second today for Gavin Escobar. Going to give help to his side, and because of that, you see the middle of the field wide open then 
for Gavin Escobar. He's just got to keep the receiver on his outside hip and set the angle for Tony Romo, and then Romo lays it in there beautifully. It's a nice job hanging on to the ball at the end. But he will not start on this first down. And DeMarco Murray up to the 28-yard line. Really good. The first down, they're going to throw it. And that's Des Bryant. Loses Amuka Mera, and he closes. Janelle sits down right in the middle of the field, loses the football. The Cowboys have recovered. And held right at the first down mark. And Church stripped it away. Well, that ball was moving and he was not yet on the ground. And that's a fumble, Tom. He. Blitz coming. Romo gets it away to Bryant. And it is a touchdown for Des Bryant. Mukamara one on one. And Des Bryant just beats him right off the line of scrimmage. And Romo knew that he had pressure. They're bringing the blitz. They didn't disguise it at all. One on one outside. It's not a touchdown. You see, Des Bryant is down before he's able to extend the arm across. You're just joining us, DeMarco Murray, the first player in NFL history to start a season with seven consecutive 100 yard rushing games. So a new set of downs under 3.30 to go. The Giants don't spend a timeout. Murray cuts it back the other way to the 46-yard line. You know, you're trying to go down and run the clock down, come away with points, and then make it another two-possession game and win it. And they were able to accomplish that. Ball stripped again out of the hands of Donnell. And that will tie a ribbon around that one as Henry Melton falls on top of the football. At the 25. McCoy perhaps turning the wrong way. Loss of two yards. Tyro. Second and 12. Fake to Jackson. McCoy looking towards the end zone into coverage. And it's intercepted by J.J. Wilcox. Then the ball comes out. Watch Wilcox as he went to get it, has it, goes to the ground. And hangs on there. He turns back around. They'll look at it since the turnover automatically. Seems to complete the process on the way to the ground. 199! 26! The 44 play action. And he'll swing it out to Murray. As John told you, terrific in this roll. Murray inside the 50. At the 10. Still on his feet. The 41 here. Dallas shows pressure. Backs out. They bring four. Henry Melton gets in and sacks his former Texas teammate. <laughs> From the 32-yard line. Rub over the middle. There's Bryant for the first time. Gain of 20 and a first down. Spilled by third and six. Witten's telling him to go quick. Coming back to help block the pressure. Washington brings five. Clark's a free rusher again, but he didn't oh get to him. And Murray's got a ton of room. DeMarco Murray to the 20-yard line. A gain at 25. Quickly to Des Bryant. What a one-handed catch by Bryant. Using his strength. Leaping to the end zone. Touchdown. What a play by Bryant. That's why he wears number 88. How about the effort by Des Bryant? Runs right over two Washington Redskins. That's called smelling the goal line. What an effort by Des Bryant, another unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Jerry Jones has some tough decisions, Mike. Well, he's become excellent, Des, at just this. As he this is third and 11. They bring the pressure again. Free runner gets Romo for the fourth time. It's Keenan Robinson who turns Tony down, and Romo maybe shake it up. An all-out blitz. They don't have enough blockers, and Romo went down hard, Mike. All-out blitz. I'm surprised that he did not change this protection. They're one short. Turns his back there and gets twisted to the ground. This is one tough cowboy, Mikey. 22nd overall pick. First three years with Cleveland, started five games last year, now takes over and gives it to DeMarco Murray. 
That settles you in a game. Murray inside the 30. Accelerates to the 20. Murray at the 10. Bursting goal, Dallas at the 5. Gonna pull both guards. Murray steps to his right, comes back to his left. Leary on the kick out. Zach Martin does an excellent job up in the hole, and they fooled Washington. And that's what you expect Murray to do when he gets a crease. Turn on the gas. Beautiful thing. 51 on the game. Eight here to possess it. Murray falls back on it, but it's a loss of five. Trying to set up the screen. Here goes DeMarco. What a block downfield from the rookie, Zach Martin. Three. The first down run by Murray. The Golden Domer. The go what Zach Martin does for him here. He sets the screen. How about this second level block on Perry Riley? It sets up Murray. And takes to Randall. Good pass protection for Wheaton. There is Witten. Dallas touchdown. That's a great drive. Credit Brandon Whedon. Unbelievable clear out by Dwayne Harris, number 17. He shot off the ball like Down the goal line, knee down as he just crosses the front of the plane and possesses it past the front of the plane and then loses possession. Third and 10, McCoy in trouble and he's finally brought down. Jeremy Mincy gets there. And inside of a minute. Washington brings five. Romo's in the end zone. He's trying to get out. He throws on the run. And it is caught by Williams for the first down. Terrence Williams pulls it from Bashad Breland. Ellington starts in the slot. Carson Palmer is wrapped up and brought down by Melton. And a big sack for this Dallas defense. Palmer steps up, fires, picked. Intercepted back the other way, Patman. Tyler Patman down the sideline. A defensive score for Dallas. Tyler Patman right here at the slot. He's going to drift back into coverage, and Carson Palmer just loses sight of him. He thinks he's got an easy completion there on the dig route. Patman is underneath that throw in zone coverage. A great job of being able to secure the catch by Tyler Patman and then take it in for the touchdown. Blitz coming. They run right. Murray gets to the edge and a nice cane. Oh. Setting up a screen. They've got it. An easy first down to Dunbar and Moore. Still going. Down near the 30. Third and long, expecting blitz. Redskins were successful with it on Monday night. Nobody accounts for Lance Dunbar on the screen play. He's got blockers out in front. Zach Martin, what a great block he has. Hey, 50. For a 6-2 and two Cowboy team. Here's Witten, nice throw. And Witten out across the 35 with a first. Blitz. Here's Murray, picking his way. What a run. Down outside the 15 in a first half. The Cardinals have shut him down. Wade finds Beasley. Nice move. Got a first down at the 30. Cowboys back out of the blitz. Down goes Palmer. And a stop for this Dallas defense. And there's Melton again. What is that? The third of the year. We He's got Bryant who has his first catch. Blitz. Inside the five. First and goal. Touchdown, Bryant. With a minute eight remaining in the game. By Miles. On first down, Robo hands it off to the NFL's leading rusher, DeMarco Murray. Murray all the way out to the 43 yard line. Finally forced out of bounds by Jonathan Cyprian. 23 yards. They're down at three. Toby Gerhard split wide to the left. And a big hit is made by Bruce Carter. First part of the game, and it's a good one from Chris Jones. Forcing H. Sanders all the way back to the 15. And the ball came loose. 
And the Cowboys have recovered. C.J. Spellman. Third and goal from the two. Romo moving to his right. Looking at zone. He throws. Touchdown. Jason Witten. Must get to the 36-yard line. Pressure on Bortles. Down he goes. It's the ex-Jaguar, Mincy. Second down and eight for the Cowboy. From the 35. Romo dumps it off to Bryant. And Des Bryant has a first down and more. Inside the 10. The 5 still go. Touchdown. 35 yards. Romo to Bryant who did the rest. Well, Marco Murray, watch him clean up this cross blitz right here. Give Tony Romo the clean pocket. He finds Des Bryant on the underneath route. And now this is just all Des. He is so physical in the open field. Look at the run to get 53 yards from the Dallas 35. It's Robinson. Looks to cut it back inside. Ball comes loose. Robinson. It is Cowboys football. From the 32 on first down, Romo firing downfield for Bryant. He's got it. Des Bryant inside the 15, the 10 to the end zone. Touchdown. 68 yards. And a great release by Des Bryant. He wins that route off the release on the line of scrimmage. And immediately in that situation, Dwayne Gratz is in chase position. And Jonathan Cyprian cannot get over there in time. Des Third down and four. Romo steps up and throws. Wide open for a first down as the tight end, Gavin Escobar, only hit four. From the 39, it's Murray again. Murray has a first down and more across midfield. DeMarco Murray to the helmet. And now a big hole opens up for Joseph Randall. Randall still going. He dies. Touchdown. Never, he never changes his path. He never has to break stride. It's just a straight line. It's a tremendous job by that offensive line and the chemistry. I mean, he's 15, 18 yards into the secondary before he has to change direction. How about Terrence Williams downfield making a block? Green 80. Green is on. Gerhardt again. And a big push by the Cowboys front. Pulling your oh, 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 Anthony Hitchens just left unblocked in the hole. As well, third down and seven. And down goes Bortles. Back at midfield. Well, the Jacksonville Jack, very prophetic in his prediction when we spoke with him on Saturday. And that was his actual line. He said 31-7. Bortles sacked for the third time. Ball comes loose. Green is out. Bortles fires, oh, it's picked off by Bruce Carter. There is a flag, two flags have been thrown. Cowboy back. Fake to him, and they fake the end around. Send it to Dunbar, Lance Dunbar, inside the 10, forced out at the six, and the Cowboys will have a first and goal. They go five wide here. Dunbar and Bryant stacked on the right side and a little flip goes to Jason Witten for the touchdown. Beckham left side. Skandrick had to back off and then Eli's going to go down again at the 22. So Dallas's defense rises to the occasion that he was the D.C. last year. And they moved him upstairs this year as Rashad Jennings gets stopped at the line of scrimmage but that Cowboy defense is put. Looks coming on the third and five, and Romo is able to exploit it, and he hits Cole Beasley. His first catch of the night goes all the way for a Dallas touchdown. It's like Julian Edelman or somebody here. A little in, a little out. 
the Cowboys taking advantage of some pressure brought that time. Second and 10. Oh, and that's intercepted. Intercepted by Barry Church. And the Dallas Cowboys will have the ball near midfield on a huge pick. A layup. Four-point game, the Cowboy ball. Second and seven. Toss. Murray. A ton of room. And out of... Romo on second and ten. Wide open. Des Bryant and touchdown. Wide, wide open. 31 yards. And the Dallas Cowboys take the lead. Sterling Moore, 26, takes his place. And that's a great play in the backfield. Demarcus Lawrence. And Romo throwing. Beasley, who scored the touchdown earlier, and another big play for Cole Beasley to the 36-yard line. Minute and a half now. And Romo, ton of time, dancing. Gesturing, flag down. Obviously needing a touchdown down by four. Romo to the outside. Bryant spins away. And Bryant is good for a clock under five. Second and two. Romo, little pump fake again. Protection is phenomenal. And then he throws, and it's caught with a touchdown. Des Bryant. What work by that line. They gave him seven and a half seconds, a couple of plays before, and probably. You can't do it better than this. You cannot do it better than this with this offensive line. Two plays, two perfect protections. Romo stays alive. Des Bryant finally gets open in the back of the end zone. Cannot blame Dominic Rogers Cromarty. Watch Tyron Smith here. He's going to get him on the ground, shove him down, stay with it. One of the most athletic pass rushers there is. Tyron Smith had a few slip ups in this one, but when it mattered most, this offensive line was dominant. Must get a first down on a fourth and two from the 28 yard line. Four man rush. Checks it off. Forward progress is where? Moving in, the official will spot it at the 30. That's Jennings, and that will be a first down. So the Giants just barely get the first down. And they're begging for a check upstairs on that one. Don't get it. They don't get it. Yes, well, they maybe do. they do because the Giants try to get the, the play away. Now you've got Vinovich. Previous saying, play is under review. Yep. Did he get the first down? Well, there's the ball. He has to get to the 30. It's not there yet. No, I, I don't think it gets nope. there. One, once it's there, if they're going to give him credit for it, it's going to have to be sort of at the high point of that catch, but his feet aren't on the ground. After reviewing the play, the receiver did not get to the 30-yard line. That was for first down. Please well, reset the game clock to 40 seconds, 4-0. And that'll do it. i tell you what, listen to that cheer. Which Third down and two. Quick throw. Beasley. That's a first down. Beasley had a big game on Sunday night. He's got a first down for Dallas here. A game. What is that? Second down and eight. Romo down the sideline. He's got a guy down inside the five. And that guy's name is Des Bryant. Uh, this is really a mismatch. We saw Bradley Fletcher earlier. And there's one on one against Des Bryant. A perfect. Not anymore. Touchdown to Marco Murray. Fletcher saw him before. Wide snap. Sanchez has it knocked out of his hand. That's a fumble. Picked up and recovered by Gardner. But a loss on the play. It was knocked out by Tyrone Crawford. That's been the case. Here's McCoy. Wrapped up and brought down. And a good play is made by Jeremy Mincy. Another first down carry. Murray with Bryant on the edge blocking, and they're going to mark him out. Uh, so here's a third and one. It's McCoy. It's another first down. 
Ball comes out. That's a live ball, and it's picked up by Spillman. And right all season long. We can quantify it for you. Here's one for Williams. He makes the catch and hops out of bounds. They've got to come back. Can we top that? <laughs> come on. We're Sports Center from Los Angeles. He's staying on meal. Uh, we'll do our best. Uh, the Cowboys have been less than their best once the calendar turns past November. It's a joyous time of year for just about everybody, except for the Cowboys and their fans. Dallas entered Thursday 8 and 11 in December and January under Jason Garrett. They've been missing the playoffs in Chicago to take on the 5 and 7 Bears. Not too cold given the venue, about 30 degrees. Dallas, some extra time to prepare after that Thanksgiving thrashing at the hands of the Eagles. You see the, the numbers going a little bit further back for Rome One Company, but DeMarco Murray takes a handoff, gets the first down on fourth and one of the Bears 13, start of a big night for Murray. Later in the drive, for the goal inside the one, it's Murray. 41 touches on the Cowboys, 62 plays. First back with 40 touches since Sean Alexander for the Seahawks in 2006. Jason Witten and James Hanna seal off the right side for Murray. Remember, December's past, Cowboys counted on Tony Romo to get them to the postseason, and that didn't always work out so well. Ensuing Bears drive, Jake Cutler to Brandon Marshall, juggles it, and then pulls it in. Take another look at it. 42-yard catch for Marshall. He had three catches, 61 yards in the game. Later in the drive on fourth and seven, Bears are going to go for it. And Cutler goes to Marshall again. Gets the first down, but he pays for it. Barry Church with a big hit, and Marshall is down. Takes a knee square in the back. Sort of looks like the hit Romo took that sidelined him earlier in the season. He had to leave Soldier Field. Marshall did an ambulance, but later tweeted, thanks for the prayers, I'm good. Bears scored on that drive to make it 7-7. Less than two minutes left in the half, third and 15 for the Cowboys. When you run the ball well, well, it's going to help the passing game, and Romo's hooking up with Witten. Cowboys move the chain 7-14 on third down for Dallas. Later in the drive, 15 seconds before the half, Romo to Cole Beasley. And Beasley is going to get there, and it's 14-7 Cowboys. First Cowboys drive of the second half. Romo able to escape the pressure. Finds Beasley again. And check out the effort for Beasley to get in once again. Another touchdown. Cowboys up 21-7. Next possession. He's going to Des Bryant. Double coverage. Doesn't matter. Bryant goes up and gets it. Six catches, 82 yards for him. First down Dallas. Later in the drive, Romo to Gavin Escobar. Romo. Extremely efficient. 21 of 26, 205 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Next Cowboys possession. Look at Murray. Look at the patience to wait for that offensive line to open something for him. 32 carries, 179 yards, and a touchdown. Later in the drive, Joseph Randall will finish the job. Cowboys win it 41-28 to get to 6-0 on the road this season. Bears scored 21 in the fourth to make it respectable, but Dallas in control of the game. Murray with his 11th 100-yard game this season. That ties Emmett Smith's single-season record. He's Bailey sends it down toward Hot Deep. It's going to bounce. And it's going to bounce at the 17-yard line. The ball is loose. The Cowboys are there at the 17-yard line. Terry and, and they it. are. Wow. I don't know if he just missed the kick, but it was well short, and none of the upbacks even seemed to react to it. Brad Smith was right there, and he just, Huff just couldn't get up to it in time. It's on the ground, and now it is just a free-for-all down there. Watches the fullback. Murray has it. And Murray, after initial contact, able to thrust forward and get into the end zone for a Cowboys touchdown. Third and seven now from the 15-yard line. Romo over the middle to Witten. And Witten out to the 36-yard line. They send five, and the pass is caught by Witten again over the middle. In the game right now, you got Witten in the backfield. You got a pass that Des Bryant will haul in for a touchdown over Bradley Fletcher. Eight minutes and 16 seconds. Watch the arm extension here, but no real push. I think the official was looking closely. His arms got extended, but there was no real push that came out of it, so they're in trouble. And Darren Sproles is in the game. And 
Sanchez. He's going to get sacked at the 16 yard line. Wow. So a nightmare start. McLean and Jeremy Mincy. And Romo going deep, and there's Bryant. Touchdown. Des Bryant gets free down the sideline for the touchdown. When you're in bump and run coverage, it all happens at the line of scrimmage. You win or you lose at the line of scrimmage. Right there, Bradley Fletcher does not get his hands on Des Bryant, then hesitates at the top end of that route. Protection was rock solid there. Romo fires over the middle, caught at the 40 yard line. Des Bryant, who is. Beat Murray again. And this time Murray takes off. Murray inside the 25 yard line to the 23. So he finally is able to break one. Five receivers all going out. Romo fires, caught inside the 10 yard line. Bryant to the two to set up a first down and goal. His fourth reception of the night. Two of those. Draw. So Murray who takes the ball into the end zone. The throw right here on a third and seven. Pump fake throws over the middle. And it is Wilcox who comes up with the ball. It was deflected off Zach Ursh's hands, and it's an interception. And getting the ball back on Sunday night football. Back after these messages. Blitz. Romo going deep for Bryant. Touchdown. Three touchdown catches tonight for Des Bryant, and they beat Bradley Fletcher again, this time for 25 yards. They have figured out a way. They have aligned over Bradley Fletcher all night. Clock on the move under eight minutes. Here comes Carter on the blitz. They pick it up. The pass is caught. That's a first down. That's Brent Selleck over the middle. The ball taken away from him, but the play was over. Kyle Wilbur came away with the ball, but it belongs to Philadelphia. Let's see. The ball is moving. Did anything get to the ground? And we're going to have a challenge. I think so. He's Jason. We'll see where it goes. Turnover. Review, the runner lost control of the football prior to being down by contact. It'll be first down for Dallas at the 34-yard line. Please set the game clock to 7 minutes, 48 seconds. So most in the lead. Play clock at 3. Second and 12. Romo buying time, fires wide open, making the catch. Des Bryant, huge night, continues to the 21 and a first down. Shaken on the last play, both out for the moment. And Sanchez gets bottled up and taken down at the 26-yard line. With Riley Cooper at the bottom, he was the replacement, didn't even check that side. Third and 14, Warren Church are both back in the game. And that. Sanchez is going to get sacked at the 13-yard line by Jeremy Mincy. Down on the field with the stars of the game, Bob, Tony, and Mike will break it all down. We'll look ahead to next week's game between the Seahawks and the Cardinals. And before we leave here, Brad Sham, one of the really great guys in the business. He's been the voice of the Cowboys except for a brief interim spell since 1979, calling his 750th game. Took over for another great pal, Vern Lundquist, years ago. And 750 football games. And that's intercepted at the 45-yard line. And Brad can send the word all the way back to the Metroplex that Bruce Carter has, in effect, ended the game. So taking the opening kickoff and kept it now for over eight minutes, and they're in the end zone for the touchdown to Terrence Williams. On the inside, is going to go here and then watch Des Bryant come underneath. I'm sorry, Terrence Williams. Three-year NFL career. Let's start out with both Dwayne Allen and Cody Fleener, his two superb tight ends on the field. Gonna run it with Heron, who is tackled for a loss. 
Brought back about four or five yards by Tyrone Crawford. Loss of a good start for the Cowboy defense. Well, they wanted to see this game slow down. The Cowboys offense did a good job of doing that. <laughs> Maybe not that way. <laughs> yeah. So McAfee to punt. And he's going to fake it and throw it. And it's dropped. He had him wide open. There, he's wide watching as the football gets near. He turns his head even before it gets close to his hands. And in a situation like this, you just want to catch it with both arms. Change everything in this game. The play was there, but they didn't execute it. And Dallas takes over in the red zone. Going for the quick strike. Romo to the end zone and is pulled down for the touchdown. And a flag. Des Bryant on the receiving end of it. One game is so good. You have to do this every once in a while on the outside. You have to play Des Bryant, just you against me. And you found out, and I'm sure Greg Toller found out, in person, this guy's bigger, stronger. Randall got the first down carrier, second and five for Dallas. Lomo takes up and off of it. And a flag is out. What a catch, too, by Bryant. Front and size, the presence, and is he inbounds? One. Two, he's in, holds on. Yeah, I love how he can just hold it one hand, Des Bryant. Well. Down first down. Open is Beasley. Who's on the way to the end zone for the touchdown, Cowboys. Well, they're making it look easy because it is easy. It's just, what do you do? They're clicking everywhere. Look at the space Cole Beasley has. LaRon Landry, the safety, was about 12 yards off of him. And a full minute into the second quarter. Beasley, the homegrown kid from Little Elm High School and SMU. Two completions to this point for 12 yards. Going over 100 with three touchdowns. And he's got more with Witten. And Jason Witten takes it. Look, this score has nothing to do with the fact that they have their seed locked up. Second and nine, Romo. Dunbar still in bounds. One second on the play clock, third and one. Romo, the time to Witten. And Witten's down inside the one. Up something before halftime. Buck stands in there, goes to the end zone, and he's intercepted. It's intercepted by Wilcox. He's running it across the 30. Nix is waiting for him at the 40, so he'll just fall and close out the half. That's the first turnover of the game. They need to challenge their wide receivers, Jim. Second and six, and that's tipped at the line and intercepted. The Cowboys' Hitchens comes away with it. So Luck picked off twice in a three-pass sequence going back to the end of the first half. Well, it's the push inside that's Nick Hagan. And sometimes it's not about hitting the quarterback. And Second and 11. And Romo to the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. Jason Witten. It's everything you want. Time to throw it. Look to the right. Nobody open. And then Jason Witten going down the middle of the field against the linebacker. Watch how he looks to the right side. Doesn't like it. Even though Beasley is open, it's still nobody around Tony Romo. That's impossible for Dequell Jackson to stay on Jason Witten that long. Tony Romo with his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Witten was their leading receiver last Sunday night. And he is again here today, his seventh catch for 90 yards and his fifth touchdown of the year. <laughs> Let's go.
receiver right now playing the tight end. Skandrick blitzing. Hasselbeck gets hit by Skandrick. The ball is ruled incomplete. Some might look at this. I think the hand was just starting to go forward. Yeah, you think that, but it, it, the ball is knocked loose, it looks like, from Skandrick from behind. And here's the recovery again. Initially, that's why they didn't really quite play it out. He was need 29 yards to break the Cowboys single season rush mark of Emmett. Third and six. Reed. Yes, Williams. Touchdown, Dallas. Perfect strike from Brandon Wheaton. Was beautiful. Top of your screen. Terrence Williams. And, you know, Greg Toller's expecting, hey, backup quarterback, probably going to throw it short. Coleman leading the Texans to victory today. And that's Hasselback being sacked. It's Wilbur. Yeah, we're going to put these, these NFC East division hats on. We're going to have somebody take a picture of everybody who's in here with their hat on. Okay, and then by midnight tonight, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to give it to somebody. I want you to give it to somebody you love. Give it to your wife, give it to your kid, give it to your mom, give it to your dad, give it to somebody. Because as good as this is, I think our sights are set a little higher than this, aren't they? Right. Right. Here comes the blitz. They get it away quick. Go far side. What a move. Dez Bryant. He's trying to go all the way. One man to beat. Bryant takes it home. Touchdown, Dallas. It's not going to be a 10, 10 or 12 yard game. You're going to have one on ones, and when you have one on ones with guys like Des Bryant, he's doing his best Deshaun Jackson impression out the door for Des, Des Bryant. Big Murray again, second and four, and he gets still on his feet. No, they say he was indeed down. Chris Baker wrestled him down at the 45, so he's going to be a yard short of a first down. And that's actually, I mean, here I'm talking about the NFL league leading rusher and DeMarco Murray about to break Emmett Smith. I don't think he's down, by the way. Oh, he's not. He is not down on top of Chris Baker. Is the receiver. Unchallengeable. Is eligible. But that's a play right there that I'm talking about that I think earlier in the year he runs through that tackle. That's he, He's a phenomenal player. And I, I, there's something to miss right now in his game. They bring on an extra offensive lineman here on a third and one. Murray, left side, first down and more. That's the record. To Marco Murray all the way down inside the 25. And a new single season rushing leader for Dallas. Randall is in at halfback, number 21, second-year player. He's had a good year in the limited time he's played. The Rumble's going deep for Brown, and he is incomplete. He's out of bounds. Yeah, and again, the one-on-ones, and that's what DeMarco Murray does for you. The right foot down, that's left a foot down. I believe that's a touchdown. That is a touchdown. And now they're showing it in the stadium and there are a ton of Cowboys fans here today and they just reacted to that. Des Bryant is a monster, John. I mean, he you said you hear the cash register before. Well, that's because his contract's up. And yeah, he could be a franchise tag guy. But one way or another, whether it's here or somewhere else, he's going to be making a lot of money. I mean, when you look at what he's done the last three years. No doubt. And, Kevin, I think that last drive perfectly depicted why I believe and a lot of people believe this is a team that can and will do damage in the playoffs. They beat you with the run. They could beat you with the pass. Extremely versatile. After reviewing the play, the rule on the field is reverse to a touchdown. Dallas does not fall off the timeout. 70 yards and two touchdowns. And now they try an onside kick. Would you look at this? And they recover it. How about that? Want to keep that same intensity going? We'll do an onside kick and have Barry Church recover it. Unbelievable by Jason Garrett. Week 17, you're going for the surprise onside. What a job by Rich Passaccia, the special teams coach. You see Barry Church fall on it 
Ball's loose, but he goes in there and gets it. What a Church pounced right on it. Great execution by Danny Steele. Second down, and Romo's got Beasley. Reverses field, breaks a tackle, Cole Beasley first down, and there's a horse collar penalty. Add 15 to it. E.J. Biggers is the guy. Automatic, first down. You see the wow, finish of that, wow. But Cole Beasley, what an addition he's been to this team. And Tony Romo says, look, he flat out understands the game coverages. He's also got a little juice to him. We just saw that juice. Second and six. Murray still alive. Still going. Touchdown, Dallas. Martin, the Pro Bowl, and I believe all pro right guard. Clearing the way, Tyron Smith, another pro bowler. And DeMarco Murray showing why he's the league's leading rusher. Running through first contact, second contact, third contact. Looking, Griffin the third in trouble. Down he goes. The pressure came right up the gut. It's Tyrone Crawford who gets the sack. It's Parnell in the 78 is getting a start for Doug Free who's hurt today. Here's Beasley. Cole Beasley gets a block, makes a move, and Beasley out to the 39. We've got to figure that thing out. Fake. Some time. Now the pocket collapses, and down he goes. Coming in to finish it off, it looked like George Selby, but Mincy, I believe, got there first. Then a fourth down situation. Worse in the NFL, 4 of 14 on fourth down. Four-man rush. Fires over the middle in traffic. Reed, and he caught it, but he didn't get it. That is going to be short. At least the initial marking is. Oh, yeah. That looks well short of a first down. Came out of the playoffs last week. Well, it hasn't been great so far, that's for sure. Blitz picked up. Throws. Intercepted by Bruce Carter. Carter with a block. He's caught from the side, he's out to the 40, and so much for good feelings. And you can't throw that. I mean, it's, it's into multiple guys going that way, including Bruce Carter, Robert Griffin III. You have to make good, quick decisions in this league. Tries to get it into too small of a window, and Bruce Carter takes it the other way. in there, throws, tip, intercepted, it's Carter again. In and out of the hands of Andre Roberts, Carter has his second interception, and the Cowboys take over. And credit this pick to this man, Orlando Skandrick. Watch Skandrick break on the ball, and Bruce Carter with his second interception of the day. Excellent rate on third down. Here from the third in trouble, and he is taken down. Jeremy Mincy has his sixth sack of the year. You got a four-man rush. Romo steps up. Got to let it fly. Looking for Terrence Williams. He's got it inside the 10. What a throw by Tony Romo. <laughs> what a throw in the pocket. Terrence Williams, the double move. And Tony Romo, watch this ball drop in there. You cannot throw it any better. Unbelievable throw by Tony Romo, who bought time by working the pocket, finding the soft spot. <laughs> always, always made it fun, that's for sure. But made him great. Griffin the third, back, and he gets taken down. The fumble ball is out, and it's a touchdown. Anthony Spencer finds himself in the end zone. It was Terrell McLean who delivered the hit. Jay Gruden irritated because, as I mentioned earlier, you have to know when to say when as a quarterback. And sometimes you're going to get sacked, but you better protect that football. Two cardinal sins at the quarterback position by Robert Griffin III right there, and it results in a touchdown for the Cowboys. Right here, you pump. You don't, you better get rid of it. McLean hits him, ball out. Here's what Robert Griffin III's seeing. Sometimes everyone's covered. 
Get rid of it. Move in the pocket. If all else fails, secure that football. That football's precious. He doesn't. Anthony Spencer is dancing as a result. And they're going to look at this. Robert Griffin, the third, going to sling it out to Reed. The boys, the tackle fumbles. The football is loose. Cowboys just recovered. Looked like it was J.J. Wilcox who recovered. Cowboys will take over and have a chance to cinch the victory. Look at the interior line coming. Ball downfield. Here comes the posse. That's Tyrone Crawford, the three technique, the under tackle that is running downfield and hits that ball to get it out. That's tremendous effort and hus hustle, and that's what gives this defense that doesn't have a bunch of stars an opportunity to do something special in the post. The Cowboys are on their way to an undefeated road record. They have been terrific all day. This is the first time the backups are in. They play the starters all day long. Brandon Whedon in. Here's Randall. Right up the gut. Backups in. Same result. Touchdown. 65 yards and no flags. Wanted to happen again, and it's not. No safety right there, Kev. You get through the guys in the box, and it's out the door, and it's Travis Frederick and Zach Martin. Two of those guys going to the Pro Bowl along with Tyron Smith. That offensive line paves the way. And all Randall has to do is find that hole, break one tackle, and he is gone. This team can run the football and run it well. 174 yards rushing now. Randall with the big run. DeMarco Murray, another 100-yard game for him and a touchdown. It's all working for Dallas. And exactly what Jason Garrett wanted. That toughness factor to stay hot, continue to play well. Start there we go. And lobbying for this job all season, and he's going to get it here in the first postseason game. The driving punt by Jones. Take on the move. Punt. That's Spillman. And somehow Golden Tate hung on. Third down and ten. Romo with protection got hit as he threw it. He finds Beasley. Last play of the quarter, Romo has to step up, stays upright, and has Witten, who's got a first down. And that's Van going to grow in their confidence. They fake the end around again. Stafford in trouble and is brought down from behind. It'll get played. Expectations are sky high. They've come out with a thud so far. Here's Murray. One. He's got a first down and he drives forward across the 30. Down taken away. Romo fires. He gets it anyway. And more. Williams gonna go. Cowboys are on the board. Touchdown, Terrence Williams. Hey, Terrence Williams, he runs a deep in route and you see there, Cassius Vaughn falls down, and Jamesy Hedebo, who's had a nice first half, he overruns it this time, and Terrence William with a huge play for the Cowboys here at the end of this first half. He says, I see your offensive pass interference call, and I raise you a 76-yard touchdown. Still a timeout left. Stafford steps up, end zone, and broken up, nearly picked by the team leader in interceptions, Bruce Carter. Game in his career, had a good year. Here's Stafford, play action in the air. That ball picked, Wilbur. And the first turnover of the game is into the arms of Kyle Wilbur. Here's a toss to Murray running right, cuts out field. DeMarco Murray has got another first down across the 45. Now third down and ten. Blitz coming. Romo has got Des Bryant. Bryant's going to make a play. Big number 88. Still up. Down inside the ten. 
And once he's not able to get him on the ground, this is the challenge. It's one thing to keep him from catching the ball. It's an entirely different challenge once he has the ball in his hands and then getting him to the ground. There's nobody who runs as good after the ball has been caught. Romo, Beasley over the middle. And Cole Beasley takes it down just inside the three. Murray cuts up field. Touchdown. Cowboys back in it. He didn't start that game, but he did play. And now with the first down at the 31, here's Beasley with a catch on the move. Breaks a tackle. Good start to the drive. Out of bounds at midfield. With 12-16 remaining. Ross will bring it out. Well played. Ross brought down at the five by Spillman. Over the middle, he's got Witten. Witten down inside the 25. Third down and goal. Romo protected. Enzo. Touchdown, Terrence Williams. Four-man rush. They get to Stafford. Ball out Cowboys have it now he loses it and the Lions are back on top of it Demarcus Lawrence the rookie had it and lost it Anthony Spencer initially knocked it out in what was ruled a fumble and let's take a look and it was out of the hand of Stafford the and if Demarcus Lawrence covered by Dallas then fumble began and covered by Detroit Therefore, it'll be Detroit's ball, first down. Now we have the two-minute warning at 159. It's a first down because of the change of possession. Lawrence had it, lost it. Detroit has life. To secure the edges for Matthew Stafford. Stafford brought down. Ball out. Dallas going to win. to Marcus Lawrence who knocked it out then recovered the rookie who fumbled moments ago you're gonna see him right here off the edge and he's working against Riley Reef, and he just gets past him I don't know that even if Demarcus Lawrence doesn't make a play on Stafford if there was anywhere for Stafford to go with the football there was good coverage across the board by the Cowboys defensively and for a team unit that had been maligned coming into this season you're right Joe it's fitting that in the biggest game of the year the defense is the one that makes the play here's the play moments ago when Lawrence had it lost it giving the Lions hope but now on fourth and three that play play action wide open clutch fullback touchdown and what a time for his first touchdown. The rookie snapped it. Rodgers lucky to get on it. And now the ball's out again. Mincy with the sack. And the Cowboys, they say, have it. They do. Rodgers was not ready for the snap from Corey Lindsley. And it was Mincy who came in. Got the sack, knocked it out. And the first turnover of the game. Picked up by the Cowboys. Tied at seven. Williams breaks a tackle. Looking for a block, and he's got another postseason touchdown. Well, time after time, you've seen Terrence Williams this season make a play, a big play in a game. He did it last week in the wild card round against the Detroit Lions, and here just a simple hitch route to the outside, and Tremont Williams overplays it, and then the pursuit coming from the inside, they overrun it as well. 
Rodgers is going to be sacked. Brought down by Lawrence. Romo is in trouble. Throws high and caught by Witten. Just over the outstretched hand of Des Bryant. Murray is going to get it right side with clutch blocking for him and DeMarco Murray down the sideline. Sets up first and goal. 1967 all over again. First and goal from the one. Here is Murray for the touchdown. Second and five, quick throw, Witten over the middle. Jason Witten brought down to the 48. They're going to start on the ground, and they do so with Murray. Murray out across the 40, out across the 45. We're going to see Hannah, Hannah and then Ron Leary, the left guard. They lead the way in the kickout by Larry. It's just an excellent job creating the hole here for DeMarco Murray. Now they had that running game going earlier. We're looking at about a 51-yard field goal try from this spot. Fourth down and two. Here's one down the sideline. Pass caught by Des Bryant. They're going to mark him inside the one. And a brilliant catch by number 88. That was up for grabs, and Des Bryant went up and grabbed it. Well, Sam Shields is in a great position to make a play, but he's 5'11". He goes up, but he's just not able to contend with the 6'2", Des Bryant. You see how high he gets to go up and make a play. I haven't seen anybody go up and make plays on balls in the air the way that Des Bryant has. Wow. And now Mike McCarthy is looking to challenge to say that in the process of the catch going to the ground. Green Bay is challenging the ruling on the right field there. of a completed catch. Timeout. It'll be the biggest call of the game. It came on fourth and two. Is it first and goal from inside the one or is it Green Bay's ball? We'll get the call when we come back. We've had a little debate here in the booth as to what this call is going to be. Mike Pereira, do you care to weigh in on what you think we're about to hear from Gene Steratore? Well, I'll tell you what they've got to take a look at is whether or not the ball came out when he hit the ground. I don't think he made a football move with it. So when he hit the ground, the ball touched the ground and then came loose. If it is me, I reverse it to an incomplete pass. Again, this whole process Focus on the process of going to the ground. You must maintain control. The other question is, did he have it long enough to make a football act? Is that considered so? Here's the call. Biggest call of the day. After review, it has been determined that the receiver did not maintain possession of the football during the process of the catch. The ball comes loose, hits the ground. Therefore, the ruling is an incomplete forward pass. That was Dallas's fourth down. They will lose the ball on a change of possession on the downs. It will be Green Bay's ball first and 10 at the 32 and a half yard line. Green Bay will be out of uh, challenges through the remainder of the game. Well, what a time to use your